children in our school have been buying sweets and selling them for some profit. Our school have banned them though. We want to find out why. You know anything about a secret sweet trade? You know anything about a secret sweet trade? Do you know anything about a secret sweet trade? No. Guys. So, action. We came to the shop looking for some answers about the sweet trade, but unfortunately the owner declined to be interviewed. Let's see if anyone else can shed some light with us. Okay, well recently there was a whole spate of students actually buying lollipops in huge quantities and then they were coming into school and actually selling those on for a higher amount of money. People started buying it for like 20p and stuff, so I make quite a bit if you think about it. Because how many lollipops are buy like 100? And then I sell it, making, making me get like 200, 200p basically, 2000. I don't have a problem and actually I would encourage people to show enterprise and entrepreneurial skills. You know, it's a very, very important skill to have. I think people just need to understand that if it's not done in the right way, there can be quite serious consequences to people's actions. What would happen if you keep on selling them? If you kept selling them, you get arrested by police or something. Mm, are you going to stop it from now on? Yeah, because if I don't, there'll be big trouble. I'll be in big trouble. We are a healthy school. We're very proud of the fact we're a healthy school. And, you know, I can honestly tell you, many of the staff have a big concern when they have students coming into their lessons with a lollipop in their mouth or eating sweets, because actually that is against school rules. And unfortunately, as much as a lot of the dealings might be taking place before school, break time, lunch time and after school, that does mean huge amounts of sweets are actually going into lessons and students are still eating lollipops, they've got sweets, there's wrappers, there's chewing gum, that leaves litter, it disturbs lessons and students with high sugar intake can sometimes be very difficult to manage. What do you think about your brother selling the sweets? Well, I personally think it's a good start for a, a career kind of thing because Sir Richard Branson, he started from selling cassettes and now look at him, he's a, he's a multi-millionaire. He's earning a lot of money and uh, from what? Selling cassettes. So there it is. I guess the debate about the secret sweet trade will go on and on and on.